Whoa! <laughs> Let's take a look at the Hunter ICD HP handheld decoder programmer. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and you're watching Sprinkler TV. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into opening up the handheld programmer and take a look and see what comes in the box. It's upside down, but it's not upside down because it opens this way. Yay! All right, here we go. Let's flip it around for you. We've got our instruction manual. And then look at that. Hunter actually sends four batteries with the unit. That's awesome. And once these are installed, you could keep some spare batteries here. Let's go ahead and look directly at the handheld first. There it is. It's, this one's brand new, still has the plastic screen protector on it. This unit is essentially 100% waterproof, has a nice little strap here so you can easily hold it in your hand. Let's just call that strain relief. This is a strain relief strap. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now, on the back, let me just grab a pen here so I can point this out instead of my fat fingers. What we have here are two power connections, red and blue. Those can be used to actually power up the decoder if it's not attached to the two-wire path. So if you're gonna program your decoders in your office, which you can totally do before you go out to the job site, that might be something worth talking to your team about, is if you've got, let's say, 42 zone system, you could program all those decoders at your office, make a number of what zone it's gonna be, and then just go install them. It's a pretty good option, okay? So red and blue, those are power, and then you just attach those to the red and blue wires on the decoder. This is where the programmer device that attaches the decoder gets hooked up. We'll look at that in a moment. And then the blue, this is actually a waterproof cap for the USB connection. So if you are indoors or you run out of batteries, you can actually power this from a laptop or other USB compatible power source. Okay, then we also have in here the actual decoder module. So this is the unit that the decoder actually sits in. And here's the coincided uh, cable connector. This will connect the decoder programmer to the handheld programmer. And then you simply insert the bottom of the decoder in here. And this uses a wireless electromagnetic inductive communication. So kind of like your iPhone sitting on an inductive charger, but it, is, but it is able to send communication protocols from this unit in to the decoder itself, which makes it really easy. So you can program decoders with this and the handheld device in the field without actually disconnecting the decoder at all, which is an awesome, awesome tool. If you are a contractor that is thinking about picking up two-wire systems as part of your maintenance, highly, highly recommend using the handheld programmer. And then you can also turn valves on with this. So if you're out in the field and you don't want to run back to the controller, you can turn the valve on and off with this device. You can check the status of the decoder. You can see if the solenoid is uh, shorted. And you can get lots of uh, sort of zone status, if you will. So anyway, hope that helps. It's a pretty simple unit. It's a little bit, let's see, it's not cheap. <laughs> However, if you were doing this for a living, then you definitely want to have one of these. Or if you are the property manager and you have a large two-wire system, then this can come in really handy for reading decoder statuses and reprogramming new zones or even adding new zones to the system. And that's actually one thing to take into consideration is that oftentimes zones are added to systems. So you don't have to have your zones programmed in order. You could have zones, let's say one through five, and then skip, have five, have six through 10 be empty. Then you could start up at 11 through 19. You can leave gaps in your decoder programming or empty stations so that if you add it on to sections of the site, you can just come back and fit something in, in line without having to reprogram the entire system. So hope that gives you a little bit uh, of an overview, show and tell of the Hunter ICD handheld programmer. And again, this is for ICD decoders and legacy dual decoders and the pilot uh, system for i -Corps. So hope that helps. If we can answer any more questions about TwoWire, let us know. You can reach us by phone, chat, email, text message. And until the next video, happy sprinkling. We'll see you then.